how to start your own Swiss bank in nine months, 2021. There are several ways to start and own your Swiss bank. You can buy a Swiss bank, you can start the Swiss bank from scratch, you can start with buying an assignment company and converting it to a Swiss bank license. But the best way you will discover in this video how to start your Swiss bank. Stay tuned! Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello. My name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer, the owner of the law firm Caputo and Partners and the founder of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com, the place where successful business people find tips and solutions to pay less tax and to better protect their assets with Swiss banks. Today, it's a great pleasure having Dario Berta with me. Dario Berta is a former director of UBS. He has 30 years of experience in the Swiss banking industry and today you will discover something very, very special. We have a unique way to form your Swiss bank in nine months only, which is exceptional. So Dario, how much, how much time you have to invest normally to have your Swiss banking license? How it works normally or the most, uh, what is the the common way to... First of all, thank you for the invitation, Enzo. Uh, very you. kind of you and it's always a pleasure to be with you. We fight for your money. Mm, I hope we can give some insights and some, uh, some uh, new views on how to, to, to form a Swiss bank to your audience today. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, what you said at the beginning, it is absolutely realistic to, to form a bank with the right people, with the right setup, uh, with the right lawyers, auditors, uh, in about nine months. From scratch, From scratch, with all the information um, and, and of course also some funds you need to, to... How much money do you need? How much money do you have to invest in this? That's a, a, a common mistake often uh, people who want to have a, a Swiss banking license do. They think uh, the, the costs are uh, very low, uh, what it's not true it's because uh, in this whole application which uh, in nine months you can have the Swiss banking license, you need also auditors, you need lawyers like you are one, uh, you need the, the specialist, you need HR. Uh, you need to hire people. Good people you, with uh, excellent CVs, you know, right, you have to compose right. a, a, a very good team. And this costs money to assemble everything. Most people do the mistake, they buy a Swiss bank. They want to buy a Swiss bank. But the big disadvantage of buying a big bank, a uh, Swiss bank is an existing Swiss banks that you buy liabilities, you buy problems. You know, the past of Swiss banks is connected to tax evasion. So there are many cases in all these old banks, many cases which can have liabilities with tax evasion. These are tremendous reputation risk. Remember the times with the US, they paid millions and millions of fines, you know, they paid, the Swiss banks paid billions. So to avoid this, we strongly not recommend to buy an existing Swiss banks because you buy problems, this is number one, but you buy also old IT systems. You buy IT systems which are fully outdated. Absolutely right, Enzo, what you said, and this is really key. And it, it, it's good that the audience understand this. You buy a lot of old legacies, you buy uh, problems, legal problems, and often, even after you acquire the banks, two, three, four years later, some skeletons and some old problems can pop up which can cause you major problems. Uh, like, like you said, a very good example is the USA. Uh, you never know if there are still some old cases who pop up and this can, do that. This can do that. destroy yeah. your bank. Your but also I want to mention the second point, uh, point you mentioned, software is really key. Yeah. I think out there here we are at Plots. we uh, everywhere around us are, are Swiss banks. 
foreign banks uh, also and often if you see wh which software they still use it's really scary we fight for your money Scary. It's an old software. It's not so adapted to what the is new the best way? Let's come to the point. What is the best way to start a Swiss bank? What we offer? We yeah. offer yeah. a team of experts. Yes. We offer a team of lawyers. These lawyers are not normal lawyers. These are all former employees of FINMA. FINMA is the Swiss regulator, so the, insti the institution regulating Swiss banks, this is the watchdog, the financial watchdog. And these people worked many years with FINMA and now they created a team of full professional lawyers dedicated to form a bank from scratch. So they have, uh, as I say, a, a sort of a template in place to, uh, to do Right, that. right. Uh, I think we, we formed a unique uh, way of uh, forming a new Swiss bank. Um, a proven you, way, by the way. A proven way, a proven way, yeah. and uh, also Finma knows this. And uh, the proven way is you, you buy an existing Swiss uh, company in AG, uh, which already has all the manuals, the business plan, all the documentation in this AG, and you you uh, you can be sure that you save up to one year of work. With which such a way uh, to, uh, because to work. Because these directives, yes. the bank has yes. many, many directives. These are dozens and dozens of directives. And you basically, you buy a company with all these directives ready. So this directive has just, must be adapted to your business yes. case, but there are templates. Right. There are dozens of templates with directives yeah. ruling Combating how combating money laundering, how to uh, do the Chinese walls, segregation of duties, and all. It's that. about five thousand pages, uh, which which uh, is the whole manuals and di directives, as you said. It's about five thousand pages. So this and, is the work. This yeah. Yeah. So and case time. by case, of course, we can then adapt uh, the five thousand pages. And these directives, the wording is already approved by FINMA. So this is. Proven, these are proven materials. Correct, correct, correct. correct. Absolutely correct. Uh, and uh, we also know the way how to modify uh, those manuals and business plans accordingly to the new owner or, or, or the new group of owners uh, of the bank. And why this goes so quick? Why can you say we can do it in nine months? Because normally a bank, to, uh, to, even if you buy a bank, the deal has to be approved. It's not like that you go like a shop, you buy a bank and you have the banking license. No, you have to present the acquisition of the bank to FINMA and FINMA in a second step gives the approval. They will check uh, everything. They will check the owner, they will check the background, they will check the new management, they will check the CV. They want qualified people, they want irreproachable business activities. FINMA wants to be sure that they have irreproachable business activities and you have to convince the regulator, you have to convince the regulator that the business model is something the Swiss private banking, the Swiss banking industry needs. So you have to present a credible business model. And the business model Dario is speaking about is very exciting because there is a speak about this, it involves right. crypto, yeah. involves... Yeah, yeah. This is also a, a very essential point, Enzo, you're mentioning. Yeah. Uh, today, when you go to FINMA, and you're, you just present a normal case of a wealth management bank, which we already have 278 uh, banks offering the same services. They will probably not grant you a Swiss uh, banking license. Because uh, it's nothing new, you know. You Absolutely. You out with something Absolutely. exceptional. And what is so ex exceptional with our model? Our model already contains a, a big part of crypto and blockchain uh, business. It means that you will receive at the end of the nine months a license. A full license. A full yeah. license, yeah. full Swiss banking license, which is also mentioning that you can do crypto business, that you are a specialist for blockchain. This is very important because all the existing banks uh, most of them, they, are full, they have a full banking license, but it's not really mentioned or adapted to a crypto and blockchain world we living in now today. So also all the, the payment systems and everything is mentioned in the manuals and business plan. So you really receive 
a full banking license and by the side you also have this crypto license and this is and big business. license. This is big business. This we, is big business. We believe, because, believe in it. Yeah. We, because, we believe in it. You know, it. all these companies like PayPal, like TransferWise and you name it, all these companies at the end of the day they need a banking license and they need a bank which is compliant with crypto, which is compliant to face all this anti-money laundering process and this bank needs a new IT system. Absolutely. Uh, we think one of the key points about forming a new bank is that you have all the new technologies in the bank, especially the software, yeah. uh, is really key because building a bank from scratch, you can really build it tailor-made, yeah. like you want it and you need it, and it's status quo technology-wise. So you beat by far all the other banks on the market because you have the best software, the best people, and uh, it's really made like you want. And this is a money machine. Donnie, please explain why is this a money machine? Why is this so attractive? Because banking license, obtaining a Swiss banking license is not easy. But with such a business model, you can be sure that you will obtain a banking license. And why is this financially that attractive? Why you make so much money with this banking license? Can you, can you because at the me? end, uh, we estimate uh, that you have between 16 and 18 millions of cost. 18 million of cost at the yeah, end. 18 of the, million of cost, no of capital, cost, without capital. Without uh, the capital uh, you need. It's between 16 and 18 uh, million you spend with people, with the right location, with the software, with the auditors, with the cost full of package, FEMA, full package. with our costs, yeah. lawyer costs, uh, the full package, more or less. And then, then you need equity. equity. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when you have the banking license and you have the equity and you are registered in the public registry as a bank, then it's the day you can start your, your banking activities where you will also have your own SWIFT. This is very important. Yeah. And um, we know from cases we did in the past that when you have this new software, you have the right location, the people, the right business plan with integrating crypto, blockchain and all the new technologies. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you can adapt in the modern uh, world, in the modern bank. PVC or Ernst Young companies like this, they will evaluate you at least on two, 250 million. From day one? From, From day, day one. one. So you can when you start business, yeah. this valuation will even increase. So, so repeat it again. Repeat it again. Yeah. I'm not sure if I really understood yeah. how much. No, no, sure. So how much you invest and how much come one you from the day you have the bank between invest. 16 and 18 million. 16 to 18 million you have yes. to invest. Plus yes. equity. Plus the equity, which uh, is not million. lost uh, yeah. capital, is yeah. just uh, sitting in your bank. And uh, from day one, you have the banking license, you can operate. And even we think when you show one or two years of, of track record that your business plan is working uh, by being innovative, which most of the banks, unfortunately, they are not, or it's not in their DNA yeah. to be uh, innovative because, as you mentioned also before, very wisely, in the past the Swiss banks they lived just of the Swiss banking secrecy. There was a lot of not declared uh, assets in the banks, so it, they had no reason to be really innovative. But now they are innovating. Now we have in Canton Zug, very close to Zurich, yes. we have the crypto valley, the so-called crypto valley. So Switzerland is very is one of the most innovative countries in the world. Switzerland, don't forget that. So innovation is key, and we have here so many good people with innovative ideas who can bring this in in the in the in, in the bank, absolutely, and that's why. Absolutely. The value of a bank, so if you start from day one you receive the banking license, that means after nine months, after nine months, how much is the value of the bank? At the day one you receive the banking I license. I go back to estimate. what you mentioned before, yeah. to, to Zug at the Crypto Valley. Uh, actually, we have uh, two banks which have uh, received formally a banking license. Uh, can it? Yes, yeah. it's two banks, you can, you can Google it. And uh, both of them, 
They are not long in the business. They even have not really big revenues at the moment. But the, they have the new software we mentioned before and they have stuff and everything is tailor-made. And both of these banks have a valuation of over... We fight for your money. One billion Swiss francs. One billion? Yes. It's unbelievable. So you make money from day one and it's a unique opportunity because FINMA will become even more restrictive with banking license. So if you want a banking license, do it now. Don't spend time. Do it now. It will be much harder in the future. There will be a so-called numerous clauses of banking license. Can you explain this a little bit? Probably, probably uh, there will be, we, we see this uh, tendency in, in, in Europe, uh, there is uh, much more uh, like in Germany, you have a numerous clauses of new banking license. This means a bank is uh, stopping their business, is, is closing their doors, there's a new banking license for a new uh, applicant. But more or less they are not really interested in forming a lot of new banks which makes it much more attractive, of course, to, to build one because uh, sooner or later, like you said before, uh, all these payment uh, systems, uh, correct. All these I think they all need uh, a banking license. And even for crypto, you know, crypto, the weak point of crypto is money laundering. Yes. So the regulators, they want banks who have, who have, the overview of what happens with crypto, who have the overview, who can efficiently combat money laundering also with crypto. And without this crypto uh, monitor, anti money laundering, without this anti monitoring setup, the bank, FINMA will not give any license. So you need really to, to invest in combating money laundering, especially regarding transfer wise, PayPal, and, and all these uh, banks of, and payment Often uh, these uh, companies, they look for banking license in a little bit in countries like Estonia, Lithuania yeah. or Slovenia, which uh, we have not to mention. It's not the same thing as you have it's a Swiss not, banking yeah, license. Of course, of course I think you, you are on a much higher level of reputation, but also of security and all the advantages about Switzerland. Also the employees and the quality uh, of everything is much more because, higher. Because yes. the regulator is looking to the CV, so you need to onboard qualified people. And if you work with us, we work with a team of former FINMA lawyers. These FINMA lawyer teams, all what they do, what they have, the directives, the documentation, is already approved, is already done. That's why only this team is able to receive a banking license in record time in nine months. Absolutely. Of, of course, now we have COVID. This is without COVID nine months. What if COVID will become more? Uh, I cannot make predictions here, but normally it takes nine months. Absolutely, absolutely. And I just want to uh, to mention also that um, some of the people we work with, uh, former FINMA guys, they even wrote the manuals about forming banks. They wrote the manuals about uh, everything compliance. Already. Already. Everything. No, but they, they, they wrote the internal manuals uh -huh. of FINMO. Uh -huh. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're very familiar. So it's, they exactly know what FINMA is expecting. So you don't waste time with the law firm or with KPMG or uh, it takes a long time with KPMG and you have to spend a lot of money. So these guys, these former FINMA guys, they exactly know what they do. So in case you are interested, give us a phone call. Here is the phone number. Give me a call and we can immediately arrange a meeting, a Zoom call conference or even a face-to-face -face meeting uh, in Zurich and make you a presentation how it works to receive a banking license in nine months. If you like information just like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the, uh, click the bell symbol. By doing so, you will never miss a new video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You know, information just like this cannot be found in bibliotheques, cannot be found in the libraries and not in the internet. If you like more information just like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like this information, give us a like. It costs nothing. I wish you a wonderful day. Stay rich and be rich. 
I wish you a super wonderful day. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye. bye.